Joseph Daniels woke up today a convicted killer after a jury found him guilty of murdering his son, Joe Clyde Daniels. News Channel 5 has been following this case since the little boy first went missing more than three years ago. Our Chris Davis takes a look back at the full timeline. My kid was missing, then I would want everybody to be looking for yeah. it. was a case that shook Dixon County to its core. I don't know what I would do if it were me. So I want to help. April 4th, 2018, Joe Clyde Daniels, a five-year-old little boy with autism, was reported missing from his home. Tennesseans did what they do best, Whoa. volunteered to search. That field looks pretty deep. He could be laying down or something, but I feel like the helicopters would have seen it. But then, just four days later, a break in the case. Where is baby Joe? The boy was still missing, but investigators had their suspect his father, Joseph Daniels. And so began a three year legal process full of hearings and unexpected delays. The case was followed intently here in Nashville, across Middle Tennessee, and for some across the world. Then on June 3rd, 2021 came Joseph's trial. All right, good morning, everyone. The state presented more than 250 exhibits and dozens of witnesses were questioned, but the most consequential was Alex Nolan. Well, I woke up from this uh, loud bang. I didn't go in there immediately, but to, to, I know this is tough. I know it's tough. Now 11 years old, Joe Clyde's half brother had to testify against his own stepfather with other family members in the courtroom. Given his age, we won't be showing you his face. The defendant started walking down the driveway. Yes. What had he done with Joe Clyde? He had him in his arms. But his testimony wasn't without controversy. Alex's story had changed from the initial account he gave to law enforcement. When did you change your story? When did I change my story? Whenever I remembered. It was blocked off till a couple months ago. The key piece of evidence was Joseph Daniels' hours-long interview with the TBI. At first, Joseph remained insistent he didn't know what happened to Joe Clyde until... <laughs> Choking back tears, Joseph finally confessed. Why did I kill my son? Why did I kill my son? In closing arguments, the prosecution showed a video of Joe Clyde playfully upset because his teacher didn't give him an apple. Don't be so mad. We're going to play a fun game instead, okay? <coughs> you know you want an apple more than anything? which seemed to plant the seeds for a decision. I'm told that the jury has reached a verdict. After nine hours of deliberation, on the ninth day of the trial. As to the charge of first degree murder and the perpetration of a felony crime, how does the jury find? Guilty, sir. So many questions remain, like the location of a body or motive. But we do know this. A community shaken to its core now has a few more answers. And perhaps one day, we'll find peace. Chris Davis, News Channel 5.